The Book of Numbers, Part 1. In this Book of Numbers, we're going to see the children of Israel numbered according to tribe and numbered according to their availability to do service as far as to be uh, trained as soldiers and to be set up in ranks in case they were needed for battle. Um, you will see a type in this of God is preparing an army even in these end times to do battle with the forces of darkness. There will be much covered in this book. Numbers is a very interesting book. It will not just be numbering, but it will include certain events which happened to the children of Israel. And we will read of those when we come to them, but we're going to start off again in Numbers chapter 1, verse 1. And we're going to begin numbering these children of Israel according to their names and according to their tribes. So, before we begin this book, let us go into the Father and ask for wisdom and guidance, as always. Glorious Heavenly Father, we come before your throne this day, and we ask, Father, that you lead us and guide us in these studies, and reveal to us the truths not only of their times, but how they correspond to our own time and how we should be ready for the deception to come, and that you reveal to us the secret messages or types and examples set forth that we may understand and gain knowledge by the things of the past as to how they correlate to our future. And we ask these things, Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, verse 2, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families, by their house, by their fathers, which would mean their tribe, their patriarchs with the number of their names every male by their poles and of course this polls would be like uh, we consider a, a voting poll in other words take numbers to see how many there are by polls verse 3 from 20 years old and upward all that are able to go forth to war in Israel Thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. Verse 4. And with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one the head of, his fa of the house of his fathers. In other words, a representative of each tribe. Verse 5. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of the tribe of Reuben, Elizur, the son of Shedur, Verse 6, of Simeon, Shelemuel, the son of Zerishadai, or Zerishada, verse 7, of Judah, Nashon, the son of Amenadab, verse 8, of Ishakar, Nethaniel, the son of Zuar, verse 9, of Zebulun, Eliab, the son of Helon, Verse 10, and of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishama, the son of Amihud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur. Verse 11, of Benjamin, Abadan, the son of Gideon. Verse 12, of Dan, Ahizar, the son of Amishadai. So we've got two people named Amishadai here, or uh, Zurishadai and Amishadai, rather, verse 13. Of Asher, 
Pegiel, the son of Okron, verse 14, of Gad, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, verse 15, of Naphtali, Ahira, the son of Enan, verse 16. These were renowned of the congregation, princes of their tribes of, the, of their fathers, and heads of thousands in Israel. And of course their fathers are the twelve patriarchs. Verse 17. And Moses Aaron took these men, which were expressed by their names, in other words, which the Lord had called upon by their names, verse 18, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families, by their houses of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upwards, by their poles. In other words, they, de they decreed their pedigree as to which tribe they were, and um, their family line all the way back to the patriarch. Verse 19. And the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. Verse 20. And the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest, by their generations, after their families, by the houses of their fathers, according to the number of their names, or of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth the war. Verse 21. And those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Reuben, were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Forty six thousand five hundred. Verse twenty two. Of the children of Simeon by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those that were numbered according to them, according to the number of the names, by the poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth the war. Verse 23, those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Simeon, were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. So fifty nine thousand three hundred. Verse 24, and of the children of Gad, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth the war. Verse 25, and those numbered of them, even of the tribe of Gad, were forty and five thousand and six hundred and fifty. So forty five thousand six hundred and fifty. Verse twenty six. Of the children of Judah by their generations, after their families, by their house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, or uh, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upwards, all that were able to go forth to war, verse 27, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Judah, were threescore, fourteen thousand, and six hundred. So threescore is sixty, plus fourteen is seventy-four, so seventy-four thousand six hundred. Verse 28, of the children of Ishakar, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upwards, all that were able to go forth to war, verse 29, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ishakar, were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. So fifty four thousand four hundred. Verse 39, and of the children of Zebulun, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number by the names, or of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, verse 31, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Zebulun, were 57,400. Verse 32, And of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations, and after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upwards, all that were able to go forth to war. Verse 33, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were 40,500. Verse 34, 
of the children of Manasseh by their generations, after their families, by their house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upwards, all that were able to go forth to war, verse 33, or verse 35, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Verse 36. And, uh, well, also you have a type here that Ephraim has more than Manasseh, which was prophesied to happen even by old Jacob when he blessed these two sons of Joseph uh, in reverse order. Verse 36. And of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upwards, that were able to go forth to war, verse 37, those that were numbered, even them of the tribe of Benjamin, were 35,400. Verse 38. And of the children of Dan, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upwards, all that were able to go forth to war, Verse 39, those that were numbered, even of them of the tribe of Dan, were threescore, two hundred thousand, and seven hundred. No, uh, threescore, two thousand, and seven hundred. So, uh, sixty-two thousand, seven hundred. Verse 40, and of the children of Asher, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, that were able to go forth to war, verse 41, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred. So, forty-one fifty. Forty-one thousand five hundred. Not forty-one fifty. <laughs> verse 42. And the children of Naphtali, throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, that were able to go forth to war, verse 43, those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty thousand, three hundred, or fifty thousand, fifty and three thousand and four hundred. So fifty three thousand four hundred. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men, each one was for the house of his fathers. In other words, each one represented the house of the patriarch of his family line. Verse 45. So were all of those numbered of the children of Israel, by the house of their fathers, from twenty years old and upwards, that goeth forth to war in Israel. Even all those that were numbered were six hundred thousand, three thousand five hundred and fifty. So six hundred thousand, six thousand five hundred and fifty. Verse forty seven. But the Levites, after the tribes of their fathers, were not numbered among them. Verse 48. For the Lord had spoken to Moses, saying, verse 49, Only thou shalt not number of the tribe of Levi, neither take the sum of them among the children of Israel. In other words, they were set aside for the priesthood. Verse 50. But thou shalt appoint Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all the vessels thereof, and over all things that belongeth to it. And they shall bear the tabernacle, and all the vessels thereof, and shall minister unto it, and shall encamp around it about the tabernacle. Verse 51. And when the tabernacle setteth forward, the Levites shall take it down, and when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levites shall set it up, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And that includes any one of the other tribes of Israel. In other words, the Levitical priesthood were the only ones to have anything to do with the tabernacle, with the Ark of the Testimony, with the holy vessels, 
or, or any part of the uh, tent or the gate around it, which is makes up the tabernacle. Verse 52. And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, every man by his own standard throughout their hosts. In other words, their standard is their ensign or their uh, symbol, which they had upon their shields or upon their flags. Verse 53. But the Levites shall pitch round about the tabernacle of the testimony, that there shall be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel, and the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. Verse 54. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. Numbers chapter 2 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, verse 2, Every man of the children of Israel shall pitch by his own standard with the ensign of their father's house. Far off about the tabernacle of the congregation shall they pitch. In other words, uh, in the twelve tribes of Israel, you saw these twelve standards. Um, Zebulun had a ship. Uh, Reuben had the face of a man, or water. Daniel had the serpent. Um, Levi had the sword. And so on and so forth. In other words, that's what this is referring to. Their standard is their ensign. It's the sign of their family according to what Jacob had laid out when he blessed his sons right before his death. Verse 3. And on the east side, towards the rising of the sun, shall they of the standard of the camp of Judah pitch through their armies. In other words, Judah would be to the east or uh, to the right. And Nasson, the son of Amenadab, uh, shall be captain of the children of Judah. Verse 4. And his host, those that were numbered of them, were threescore, fourteen thousand and six hundred. Verse 5. And those that do pitch next to him shall be the tribe of Ishakar. And Nethanel the son of Zuar shall be captain of the children of Ishakar. Verse 6. And his host, of those that were numbered thereof, were fifty thousand or fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Fifty four thousand four hundred. Verse seven. Then the tribe of Zebulon and Eliab the son of Helon, the captain of the children of Zebulon, verse eight, and his host, and those that were numbered thereof were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. Verse nine. And all that were numbered in the camp of Judah were six hundred thousand and fourscore thousand and six thousand and four hundred throughout their armies these shall first set forth in other words this would be the first rank verse 10 now that was on the uh, east side And now we're going to move to the south side. In other words, they're going to be set up um, in ranks around the tabernacle. Verse 10. And on the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben according to their armies. And the captain of the children of Reuben shall be Elizur, Elizur the son of Shidur. Verse 11. And his host, and those that were numbered thereof, were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Verse 12. And those which pitch by him shall be of the tribe of Simeon. And the captain of the children of Simeon shall be Shelemuel, the son of Zerushaddai. Verse 13. And his host, and those that were numbered of them, were fifty-nine thousand and three hundred. Verse 14. Then the tribe of Gad and the captain of the sons of Gad shall Eliasaph, the son of Ruel. 
or shall be Eliasaph the son of Ruel. Verse 15. And his host of those that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred and fifty. Verse 16. And all that were numbered in the camp of Reuben, in other words, on the south side, were an hundred thousand and fifty and one thousand four hundred fifty throughout their armies. Even they shall set forth in the second rank. Verse 17. And uh, uh, then the tabernacle of the congregation shall set forward with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camp. As they encamp, so they shall be set forward, every man in his place, by, by his standards, or by their standards. Verse 18. On the west side, which would be towards the setting of the sun, shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim. And the captain of Ephraim, or the sons of Ephraim, Eli Shammah, the son of Amihud. It's funny to note that, uh, or not funny, but it's interesting to note that Ephraim would be set towards the west, towards the setting of the sun. And if you know the deeper spiritual meaning behind Ephraim and Manasseh, they would be part of the ten tribes that went north and west towards the setting of the sun when they were dispersed from Assyria after the Assyrian captivity. Verse 19. <coughs> and his host of those that were numbered of them were 40,500. And by him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, in other words his brother, and the captain of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur. Verse 21. And his hosts that were numbered of them were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Verse 22. Then the tribe of Benjamin and the captain of the sons of Benjamin shall be Abadan, the son of Gideon. Verse 23. And his host of them that were numbered of them were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. Verse 11. And all that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim were an hundred thousand, eight thousand, and a hundred throughout their na armies, and they shall go forth in the third rank. So we've covered three sides of the tabernacle and round about the tabernacle now with the Levites. And uh, this is symbolic as we will continue reading that there will be the fourth side fulfilled here the the fourth side will be covered with the the other tribes but the levites would be scattered amongst all the tribes whenever the dispersals happened there would be levites among all of them in other words priests there would be amongst the 10 tribes and amongst the uh two tribes that stayed in Jerusalem until the diaspora of 69 AD when Rome finally cast out the Jews out of Jerusalem which they did not return again until 1948 but you see the symbology here that the Levites are in the center and kind of in a circle and all the rest of the tribes are in ranks in, on the four sides of the tabernacle Verse 25, And the standard of the camp of Dan shall be on the north side. And of course, Dan occupied the north side in Israel, in uh, Judea, Palestine. And the tribes of Dan, or the tribe of Dan, as they migrated um, after the Assyrian captivity across the Caucasian mountains, would take the north. In other words, the Scandinavian countries the most northern part of Europe. And the standard of the camp of Dan by the north side and their armies, the captain of the children of Dan shall be Ahizar, the son of Amishadai, verse 26, and his host, and those that were numbered of them were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred, verse 27, 
And those that encamp by him shall be the tribe of Asher. And the captain of the children of Asher shall be Pagiel, the son of Ocharon. Verse 28. And his hosts that were numbered of them were forty and one thousand and five hundred. Then the tribe of Naphtali, and the captain of the children of Naphtali shall be Ahira, the son of Enon. And his host of those that were numbered were fifty, three, fifty and three thousand and four hundred. And all they that were numbered of the camp of Dan, in other words, on the north side, were an hundred thousand and fifty and seven thousand and six hundred and they were the hindmost with their standards. In other words, they were the last counted and on the north side. Verse 32. And not only that, they would be the last rank, the hindermost. Verse 32. These are those which were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers, again the twelve patriarchs, and all those that were numbered of the camps throughout their host were six hundred thousand three hundred and five hundred and fifty. And as you see the children of Joseph here, there is no tribe of Joseph. Joseph has uh, given a double portion by his father Jacob in blessing, gets two tribes of this. So the Bible fulfills itself even in these first five books of Moses, the Pentateuch. Verse 33. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. Verse 34. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they pitched their standards, and so they set forward, every one after their families, according to the house of their fathers. Again, this would be the patriarchs. Numbers chapter 3 and verse 1. These also are the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that the Lord spake with Moses in Mount Sinai. Verse 2. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron. Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Verse 3. These are the names of the sons of, the, of Aaron, the priests which were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister the priest's office. Verse 4. And Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And of course we've gone into that. They offered strange fire upon God's altar which is symbolic of strange doctrine or fire which is not kindled by God, the consuming fire. And God killed them for it. In the wilderness of Sinai. And they had no children. In other words, Nadab and Abihu. And Eleazar and Ithamar ministered the priest's office in the sight of Aaron their father. Verse 5, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Verse 6, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that he may minister unto them. Verse 7, And they shall keep his charge, and keep the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation, to do service to the tabernacle. Verse 8, and they shall keep the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation and the charge of Israel to do service to the tabernacle. Verse 9. And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. In other words, amongst all the children of Israel. And if you recall, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai and found the children playing and worshiping molten gods... Um, it was the children of Levi that stood with Moses when God, when Moses said, "Who will? Who is for God?" So they earned their place then. In other words, you've got a type in this of the first earth age and the election. The ones that stood with God are coming through this earth age as the election, and they are not assessed a portion amongst the other tribes. As you will find written later, God is their inheritance. And I'm not necessarily speaking of Levi here. I'm talking about the election. God said, give them no inheritance because I am their inheritance. And God owns everything. Verse 9. 
And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aaron and his sons. They are wholly given to him out of the children of Israel. Verse 10. And thou shalt appoint Aaron his sons, and they shall... Uh, they shall wait on the priest's office and the stranger that cometh nigh to be put to death. In other words, they would take care of the judgment and handling the uh, uh, religious and the judgmental aspect. Verse 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Verse 12. And behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix. And the matrix, of course, is the womb. In other words, Reuben was the firstborn. Reuben should have been the inheritance. But Reuben defiled his father's bed. And for this, Jacob told Reuben that he would not increase. So, God chose Levite or the Levites, from among the children of Israel, instead of the firstborn, which opened the matrix, which is again the womb of the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine. Verse 13. Because all the firstborn are mine, for on the day that I smote all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me the firstborn of Israel, both man and beast, Mine shall they be, I am the Lord. Verse 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Verse 13. Number the children of Levi after the house of their fathers by their families, every male from a month old and upward, shalt thou number them. Verse 16. And Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord as he was commanded. Verse 17. And these were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, and Kohath, and Mirari, verse 18. And these are the names of the son of Gershon by their families, Libni, and Shimei, verse 19. And these are the sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, Izahar, Hebron, and Uziel, verse 20. And the sons of Merari by their families, Mali, Mushi, these are the families of the Levites according to the house of their fathers. Verse 21. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites, and the family of the Shemites. These were the families of the Gershonites. Verse 22. And those that were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upwards were numbered of them 7,500 verse 23 and the families of the Gershonites shall pitch behind the tabernacle westward verse 24 and the chief of the house of the father of the Gershonites shall be Eliasaph the son of Lael Verse 25. And the charge of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation shall be the tabernacle and the tent and the covering thereof and the hanging of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Verse 26. And the hanging of the court and the curtain of the door of the court which is by the tabernacle and all the, route, all the altar round about and the cords of it for all the service thereof. In other words, the cords that hold it in place. Verse 27. And of Kohath and the family of the Amorites, or Amramites, the family of the Isherites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites, these are the families of the Kohathites. Verse 28. And the number of all the males from a month old upward were 8,600, keeping the charge of the sanctuary. Verse 29. And of the families of the sons of Kohath shall pitch on the south side of the tabernacle. Verse 30. And the chief of the house of the father of the families of the Kohathites shall be 
Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. Verse 31. And their charge shall be the ark, and the table, and the candlestick, and the altars, and the vessels of the sanctuary, wherewith they minister, and the hanging, and all the service thereof. In other words, these would be the ones to move the ark, to move the tables, to move the candlestick, which is the menorah, the vessels of the sanctuary, verse 32. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be chief over the chief of the Levites, and have oversight over them to keep charge of the sanctuary, verse 33. And Mirari, the family of the Mahalites, or the Malites, and the family of the Mushites, these are the families of Mirari, verse 34, and those that were numbered of them according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward were 6,200, verse 35, and the chief of the house of the father of the families of Mirari, and Zuriel, the son of Ibihel, these shall pitch on the side of the tabernacle northward. Verse 36. And under the custody of the charge of the sons of Merari shall be the boards of the tabernacle, the bars thereof, the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof, and all the vessels thereof, and all that serveth thereto. Verse 37. And the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords. Verse 38. And those that encamp before the tabernacle, toward the east, even before the tabernacle of the congregation, in other words, in front of it, eastward shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the charge of the sanctuary of the children of Israel. And the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. Again, Nobody but the Levites were to go near the tabernacle, or to handle the ark, or to move it, or to take it down, or to do anything or have anything to do with it. Verse 39. And all that were numbered of the Levites, which Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of God throughout their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty and two thousand. Verse 40. And the Lord said unto Moses, Number all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. Verse 41. And thou shalt take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of the firstlings of the cattle of the children of Israel. Verse 42. And Moses numbered as the Lord commanded him all the firstborn among the children of Israel. Verse 43. And the firstborn males by the number of names from a month old and upward of those that were numbered of them were twenty and two thousand two hundred threescore and thirteen. So uh, twenty-two thousand and seventy-three. Verse 44. Or 22,273, rather, excuse me. Verse 44. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, verse 49, verse 45, rather, Take the Levites instead of the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of the cattle, and the Levites shall be mine, I am the Lord. Sorry, I thought I had read that verse before. So many of these verses are so repetitive, it's easy to get lost in them. Verse 46. And for those that are to be redeemed of the two hundred and three score and thirteen of the firstborn of the children of Israel, which are more than the Levites, verse 47, thou shalt even take five shekels apiece by, a, by the pole. After the shekel of the sanctuary, thou shalt take them. The, she the shekel is twenty giras. Verse 48. And thou shalt give the money wherewith the odd number of them is to be redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons. Verse 49. And Moses took the redemption money of them that were over and above them, and that were redeemed by the Levites. Verse 50. Of the firstborn of the children of Israel, 
took he the money, a thousand three hundred and three score and five shekels. So a thousand three hundred and uh, three uh, sixty five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. Verse 51. And Moses gave the money of them that were redeemed unto Aaron and to his sons according to the word of the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. Numbers chapter 4 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Verse 2, Take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi, after their families, by the house of their fathers. Verse 3, From thirty years old and upwards, even to fifty years old, all that enter into the host, that do work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Verse 4, This shall be the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation, about the most holy things. Verse 5. And when the camp setteth forward, Aaron shall come, and his sons, and they shall take down the covering veil, and the cover of the ark, and cover the ark of the testimony with it. Verse 6. And they shall put thereon the covering of the badger skins, and spread over it a holy cloth of blue, and it shall be put in the staves thereof. In other words, the things to carry it with the rods, verse 47. And upon the table of the showbread they shall spread the cloth of blue upon thereon the dishes and the spoons and the bowls and the covers and the covers withal and, and the continual bread shall be thereon, verse 8. And they shall spread upon the cloth or, or spread upon a cloth of scarlet and cover the same with the covering of badger skins and put in the staves thereof. In other words, this is when they're going to be moving the thing and taking it down. Verse 9. And they shall take a cloth of blue and cover the candlestick of the light, and his lamps, and his tongs, and his snuff dishes, and all the oil vessels thereof, wherewith they minister unto it. Verse 10. And they shall put it, and all the vessels thereof, within a covering of badger skins, and shall put it upon a bar. In other words, to carry it. Verse 11. And upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue and cover it with the covering of badger skins. And they shall put in the staves thereof. Uh, in other words, the altar also was to be carried in the same manner as the ark with rods. Verse 12. And they shall take all the instruments of the ministry wherewith, the minister, wherewith they minister in the sanctuary and put them in a cloth of blue and cover them with the covering of badger skin and shall put them on a bar. Verse 13. And they shall take away the ashes from the altar and spread purple cloth thereon. In other words, they're going to clean off the altar and spread purple cloth thereon. Verse 14. And they shall put upon it the vessels thereof, where which they minister about it, even the censers, the flesh hooks, the shovels, the basins, the vessels of the altar, and they shall spread upon it the covering of badger skins, and put the to the staves of it. In other words, again, the rods to carry it with. Verse 15. And when Aaron and his sons have made an ending to covering the sanctuary and all the vessels of the sanctuary, as the camp is to set forward. After that, the sons of Kohath shall come bear it, come to bear it, and shall not touch any holy thing lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath and the tabernacle of the congregation. In other words, the sons of Kohath would carry the things, but this is why they were wrapped up in cloth and badger skins, so that they could not be touched. Because even if they were touched by the sons of Kohath, they would be killed, who, who, were, who were Levites. Verse 16. And to the office of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, pertaineth to the oil of the light, and the sweet incense, and the daily meat offering, and the anointing oil, and the oversight of the tabernacle, and of all that is therein, in the sanctuary, and all the vessels thereof. Verse 17. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, Verse 18. Cut ye not off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites. Verse 19. 
but thus do unto them that they may live and not die. When they approach the most holy things, Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden, but they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered, lest they die. Verse 21. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Verse 22. Take also the sum of the sons of Gershon throughout the houses of their fathers by their families. Verse 23. From thirty years old and upward to fifty years old shalt thou number them, all that enter to perform service, to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. Verse 24. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites, to serve and for burdens. Verse 25. And they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle, and the, uh, and the tabernacle of the congregation his covering, and the covering of badger skins, and all that is above it, and the hanging of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Verse 26. And the hangings in the court, and the hanging in the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and by the altar round about, and their cords, and all the instruments of their service, and all that is made for them, so shall they serve. Verse 27. At the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Gershonites. In other words, they're going to be in charge of them. In all their burdens and in all their service, ye shall appoint them charge all their burdens. Verse 28. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. Verse 29. As for the sons of Mirari, thou shalt number them after the families by the house of their fathers. Verse 30. From thirty years old and upwards, even unto fifty years old, thou shalt number them, every one that entereth into service to do work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Verse 31. And this is the charge of their burdens according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation. The boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and the sockets thereof. Verse 32. And the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with all their service, by name ye shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. Verse 33. This is the service of the sons of Mirari, according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. Verse 34. And Moses and Aaron and the chief of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families, after the house of their fathers. Verse 35. From thirty-five years old and upwards to fifty years old, even every one that entereth into service to work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Verse 36. And those that were numbered by them of the families were 2,750. Verse 37. These were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, which Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Verse 38. And those that were numbered of the sons of Gershon throughout their families, and of the son of the house of their fathers, verse 39, from thirty years old and upward unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service to work in the tabernacle of the congregation, verse 40, even those were numbered of them throughout their families, by the house of their fathers, were two hundred and six. 130, or 2,630, verse 41. And they that were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, whom Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of God, verse 42, and those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Mirari, throughout their families, by the house of their fathers, verse 43, from thirty years old and upwards, even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service to work in the tabernacle of the congregation, verse 44, even those were numbered of them, and of their families were three thousand two hundred. 
verse 45. These be those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Verse 46. And those that were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron, the chief priests of Israel, numbered after their families according to the house of their fathers. Verse 47. From thirty years old, upwards, upward even unto fifty years old, everyone that came in to do service to the ministry of the service of the burden of the tabernacle of the congregation, verse 48, even those were numbered of them as 8,500 and fourscore, which is 80. So 8,580. Verse 49. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, everyone according to his service, according to his burden, thus they were numbered of him as the Lord commanded. Okay, so let's see. Numbers chapter 5. Well, I think we'll let that wait till the next lecture. Because we're coming up on 51 minutes here, and I don't think I can cover all this in just a few minutes, but at any rate. We have seen here the Levites given their duties, and we've seen the tribes of Israel numbered to go around the camp all four directions, along with the Levites to go all four directions, and their burdens either to go to war or to do service to the congregation. And God has said that the Levites were his, and again we get a type of the election here, the first fruits, those who stood first with God. And in the next lecture, we're going to uh, see some more of the speaking of the Lord to Moses with regards to uh, leper, uh, lepers and, um, well, various other things, confessional sins. But we'll continue that in the next lecture with Numbers chapter 5. At any rate, brothers and sisters in Christ, as always... I always pray for you that you will dig into your Father's Word and study these things, whether they make sense to you or not. I know I went through the Bible myself a time or two before things began to make sense to me, even looking at the Hebrew and the Greek. I always prayed for knowledge and wisdom, but God gives it in His season. And we would all like to know everything right now. And I try to make these Bible studies a little faster paced than some others. And try not to leave anything out. But even so, when you read your Father's Word, you're going to find that the second time through, the third time through, the fourth time through, even the seventh or eighth time through, you're still going to be learning things because God's Word is that way. That's why they call it the living word. It is alive. It can reveal things to you that you have already read over and that you did not see the first time or the second time or the third time. But I suppose it's all up to our Father and how ready He deems you to be when studying His word. So, may our Father bless you in all your diligent study as you seek his face and his counsel and his wisdom and his revelations from his word while you study therein. May God bless you and thank you for listening. This has been Just Thoughts.